Well, yeah, tell me a bit about your film. So it's called Nothing Will Ever Stop the Music. And it is uh, an inadvertent comment on impermanence. So it fits in the theme of this show, but not because it was designed as such. Um, I realised only afterwards that it's really a film about my own impermanence and um, the impermanence of the, the planet and the potential of human beings to live on it um, in the conditions to which they have become accustomed, to which I was accustomed, and um, certainly the more recent previous generations of my ancestors. Um, and I, it's a project that I started in 2006 when I read or came across a report by um, Nicholas Stern, who was commissioned by, I think, maybe the UN or the British government to first really talk about the economics of climate change. Uh, he tried to warn us in a advanced capitalist economy and system that not looking after the planet and not actually trying to do anything about climate change at this stage would actually end up costing human beings more in the long run. So he tried to make the argument that it would hit the pockets of people and the economy. And um, it was the first time I heard somebody do that. And, and it's not the argument itself that particularly moved me, not the economic argument, but it was the argument about the survi our survivability, the human race's survivability on this planet. And so I started reading about it at that stage. And it was the year in which I was asked to become a godparent to a to a, a little boy who was born in October in 2006. So the film is dedicated to, to him, to Benjamin. Um, I had a feeling at the beginning of the pro process that I wouldn't finish it until he was 16. Uh, deliberately I didn't. It's a film I made without any financing or producers or anything. I just wanted to have an artwork that I was in control of, that other people weren't in control of, that I could do at my own pace when I wanted to, um, which meant just financing it myself or filming it off the back of other trips. Um, it is a, an odyssey. Um, it's an odyssey uh, in time and in space. Um, and it is Originally, it was called A Letter to My Godson, and it became Nothing Will Ever Stop the Music when I realised it was about more than just a human being. It was about the cosmos itself and about the universe. And in that sense, the music that never stops is this sort of cosmic energy which unites us all and, in fact, I think represents all of human and more than human enterprise. This kind of energy that is completely unstoppable and that in itself is part of impermanence because if one thing changes to another to another to another each present moment shifts to a new present moment something is driving that process forwards in time um, and that is this energy that can neither be created nor destroyed which is this this metaphor of music now, music in itself is very important to this film. Um, there's almost like sort of my sort of desert island discs, if, if you want, are, are poured into this, this uh, two hours. Um, it's meant as a three screen installation when it's installed um, as such, but it can be watched as one screen. And um, it's a narrative, I would say it's a narrative artwork, so it doesn't have the the form and convention of a, of a documentary or a fiction work, um, but it does have a sort of sense of story driving it forwards.